It's Lee Wamscons here at our Patriot Mobile booth at the NRA convention. And I have a local hero, Hood County Commissioner Jack Wilson. He is living proof that a good guy with a gun does stop a bad guy with a gun. Jack, would you tell us a little bit about what happened? The incident happened on December 29th, 2019. Uh, I was in another part of the building at the time. I got a radio call and that, you know, to come to the front. I went to the front. We had an individual who had come in the building who was in a full disguise uh, with a fake wig and a fake beard and a wig on and a long you know, three-quarter trench coat and, you know, just raised some concerns with the other members of my security team. The individual came in, he sat down and then got up and went to the restroom and then come back and sat down on the back you know, pew of the auditorium on the south side of the building. Uh, about halfway through the church service during communion, he got up and went, talked to Tony Wallace briefly, come back. Tony evidently indicated for him to go sit back down. He went and sat back down and then he went, got up again and went and talked to Tony. The, the first time he went back and sat down, back in the, in the middle of the pew where he was the first time. The second time he get they just sat on the end of the queue and when he got you know in a few minutes he stood up and had a shotgun out uh, a shot 12 gauge shotgun pump shotgun with a pistol grip got out and immediately Richard White was saying drop the gun drop the gun trying to get his gun out and then he you know he shot Richard with a 12 gauge slug at about 15 18 feet. Mm -hmm. And then he immediately racked the shotgun, turned in at about a four foot distance, shot Tony Wallace with double off buck. At that point, he racked the shotgun again. I read, when he stood with the gun, I'd already drawn my gun. And then when he started going towards the front of the auditorium, evidently I, my movement caught his because I was trying to you know, get a, a, a bead on him, get a sight on him. And I had people between, I had five people between he and I in the pews, including some children, and I wanted to make sure I didn't hit any of them. Sure. Um, so he stopped and kind of halfway turned to me. I teach not to do headshots unless that's totally all you have. That's all I had at that instant. And I took the shot hit him right here. The round did go completely through and go into the wall behind him. He immediately dropped, but as he, when I hit him, his gun went off a third time because he had already racked it and his finger was on the trigger. So when I struck him, it actually you know, caused his finger, the gun to go off. Nobody was, luckily nobody was hit in that case. And but the, he still had seven rounds in the gun and three more in his pocket. He came in with pure evil intent. I don't feel like that I took, I killed a human being, I took out evil, mm -hmm. and that is what I said that day, that's what I say every day that we have these kind of discussions, is, you know, I took out evil. And, you know, I lost two good friends that day, so Richard White and Tony Wallace, and then we, you know, when he dropped, but, you know, the whole message is you gotta pay, vigilant and pay attention any and all times. And so tell me the time frame. How much time, it probably felt like an eternity, but how much time actually passed? From the time he stood up with a gun till he's down is six seconds. Six seconds. You know, my town was telling me we didn't need SROs because we had a response rate of two minutes, and I said absolutely not. That's why I believe, and I fought for and got, a, a armed and trained yep. SRO in all 11 campuses in yes. South Lake. And Do I, you agree that we need that in every school in America? I feel like that every school in America, regardless whether it's high school, middle school, or elementary school, need trained SROs in them. Because the world we live in today, you know, you can have all the gun laws in the world, but it's not going to stop the, you know, the problem. You know, so you've got to have people there who, that are trained who can, you know, deal with what's going down. And so that is, you know, we need that now. Well, I know you don't consider yourself a hero and you, you reject that title, but you're a hero to me no, and you're you. a hero to a lot of people. 
And, you know, in, in Texas and in America, we need more elected officials that understand the importance of the Second Amendment. It's, it's while hunting is nice, it's to fight tyranny and it's to fight evil. And you are our hero. You're a living example. There are thousands of examples of where a good guy with a gun stopped a bad guy with a gun. And the left is trying to spin something that's just not true. God bless you, sir. Thank you. He, ter he is at Hood County Commissioner. Y'all need to support him in Hood County. And we just we just thank the Lord for you. Thank, thank you. you. God right. bless you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.